All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to start today's video off with um, on a little bit of a low note, and I'm sorry, I don't get depressed. So it's Monday morning right now. I'm about to go get a gym workout in, get some studying in, because I don't have class today. Yesterday, I went in and practiced drilling. So I was doing a class three preparation, and I was going to fill it on number nine, one of your central incisors, but Literally, worst practice session of my life. I don't know whether my birds were dull or I just wasn't feeling it. I have no idea. These teeth came out just gosh awful. Later in the week, I'm going to try to film what they look like. Like I was not even close to what I had to be to pass. So this practical that I have is on Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, so in like three days. And if I did what I did last night um, on my practical, literally gonna fail. So I have a lot of practicing to do on top of all the studying I have to do, but that's what school is about. Sometimes you have terrible practice sessions. I think everyone goes through it. Yesterday was 100% the worst I've ever drilled, ever. Not a good start to my week, but what can you do? Let's just keep on grinding. Headed to the gym right now. I just wanted to show you guys the pre-workout that I take in case you guys are interested. I just got a new bottle of Evolution Nutrition. What flavor is it? Like cherry, yeah, cherry limeade. One of my favorite flavors I've ever tasted. It's fantastic. Some of the ingredients, niacin, vitamin B, folic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, beta alanine. Beta alanine is what makes your face itch. If you don't have that in your pre-workout, do you, are you even taking pre-workout? I don't think so. 200 milligrams of creatine and then lots of caffeine. I think this one actually isn't too much. It's like 150 milligrams and that's probably about your average cup of coffee. If Google doesn't steer me wrong. Anyways, I love this. I've been taking, this is my second bottle of it and I'll probably order a third when I'm done. Let's go do this. So the weight flew up for me on squats, like it was phenomenal. Came in there, mindset was hundo, but my right shoulder is just killing me. I don't know why. Stupid low bar squats. I just have to kind of get used to the trap flexibility for it. Um, but anyways, now we got bench, so let's just keep it going. Okay, so we are back from the gym and it's actually probably one of the better gym sessions I've had all year, so I was freaking pumped about that. But now I got the rice cooker going with some rice. I grilled up a lot of uh, chicken, shrimp, and burgers on Saturday night, kind of meal prep for the week. As I was at the gym, I was talking to some of you guys through Instagram, and an interesting topic came up. Um, I posted that I, I think it was last night, I posted that I finally tore myself away from watching Netflix to actually study, and a lot of you guys were like, wow, I can't believe um, or you just, you just seem pretty disciplined. I didn't think you would um, kind of be a binge watcher. And let me tell you, that is so far from being true. I feel like I have one of the most addictive personalities ever. So the way I combat that is I just don't put whatever is going to tempt me like in my life. Netflix, I've kept away from it for a long time, but since I have a little bit of extra time during the summer semester, I decided to let myself go. I got into Parks and Rec. I've never really been able to get into it because I love The Office and Parks and Rec. I felt like kind of copied it, but I made it through like the first season and the second season I just started cracking up. Andy's hilarious. Chris Pratt is probably one of my favorite actors of all time. But anyways, I definitely have an addictive personality and if you guys are right there with me, uh, I'm a huge game nerd. I played video games way too much in undergrad um, and I had to leave my Xbox, uh, my gaming console at home because I knew if I had it, I would play that for hours and hours instead of study or drill. So if you guys have addictive personalities like myself, just get those temptations out of your life. As hard as it is 
to leave your um, gaming stuff away or not have Netflix uh, easily accessible, which is pretty much impossible because you can log on to your laptop. But just try not to get addicted to a show. Just don't even start a new show. Um, if you have a tough semester coming up, I promise you it will benefit you in the long run. Although you have to have some breaks and if you can control yourself, which I normally can't, it's a great way to study, watch an episode for 20 minutes, and then keep studying, but that is something that I'm working on right now. Anyone who is impaired in the kitchen, which I definitely used to be, but I love to cook now, here's a little tip for you guys. If you're ever making rice and actually want to have flavor to it, so it's just not plain and kind of boring, throw like two tablespoons, depending on how much you make, I'm gonna throw about one tablespoon of lemon juice in this rice, because I only made about a half cup of rice, and then a little bit of butter, mix it up, promise you it'll change your life anyways you get the picture quick tip in the kitchen tastes delicious there's a lot of construction on. i hope you guys can hear me but like i said at the beginning of the video i went and drilled yesterday and it was gosh awful birds were just going through teeth like butter and i was not on top of things so i'm gonna go redeem myself right now or try to anyways um, there are a few faculty members in lab right now and i'm gonna go do some preps and get some real feedback so I can actually fix some of the mistakes that I'm doing. Wish me luck. I have been meaning to film for you guys, so I'm sorry I haven't, but um, I'm not where I need to be for Thursday's test. So when I'm in lab, I kind of just want to be 100% there and not really worry about trying to get film, different angles, and all that kind of stuff. So I apologize. It's I kind of have to put school first so I can get ready for Thursday, which Today, if I could reproduce what I did today in, uh, in the practice session I just had on Thursday, I will be good to go. My composite filling was what it was probably the best one I've ever done. Um, I went in with some of my friends and as I was going on and I got to a part where I didn't really know what to do or um, I just had a question, I would stop them and be like, hey guys, come check this out. And they gave me some really, really good tips that I was able to use and now I have to use on Thursday for um, for the test. So if you guys are in school right now, um, you should definitely try to get with friends. And if you're starting school, I think this is something that is so underrated that I didn't start doing um, until just recently. Don't be afraid to ask for help one if you need it and try to go in and practice your hand skills with groups of people because inevitably every person is going to be better at one thing or another you know I might be better at drilling than one of my friends or I might be better at filling or one of my friends could have a tip that I didn't really pay attention to in class and I didn't pick up so I didn't know or there's a technique they might have learned outside of school from either one of their parents or um, colleagues or whoever but I can't tell you how many times I've been helped out uh, by the people that have been just around me while I'm practicing so if I give uh, one huge tip to anyone that is trying to work on hand skills or getting ready to work on hand skills, drill with, uh, drill with other people and ask them for help and try to learn their tips and tricks because it's just extra tools that you can have for one, when you make a mistake, they might know how to fix it, which is huge because almost always during a practical, something is gonna go wrong and if you don't know how to fix that mistake, you're screwed and you might end up failing for something that someone else knows how to fix. That would be my tip, try to drill with people learn from everyone around you. For the next probably about hour and a half, I'm gonna get some physiology studying in that test is just looming over my head. I'm kind of afraid of it, but if I am able to get uh, an entire lecture done tonight, I think I'm gonna be right on schedule if I uh, avoid being lazy for the rest of the week. So let's go get that taken care of. And then I have some other tips about practicing some hand skills that I want to talk to you guys about. Just finished up studying for physiology. I'm not done for the night. I think I just got through about an hour lecture. So I wanna give you guys some more tips and then probably hit the books again. Um, but I wanted to say a little bit more about how I am learning the best way to prepare for some of these drilling and filling practicals that I have. And, by, and I think you guys will be able to apply this to almost any subject um, in undergrad or in dental school too. 
So I think frequency is so much more important than length of each study session. So if I had the option between studying only for an hour or going into the lab and practicing drilling or and filling for an hour three times a week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as opposed to just a, let's say, a five hour long session on one day, on Monday, let's say, I think that the frequency method is going to be much, much better. Even though you're studying for a longer time, um, because you're doing it all at once, it's very, it's a lot harder to fix your mistakes and learn from what you're at, what you are actually doing wrong. So when you go drill for an hour and then um, you get done, you can think about what went right, what went wrong, and the next day you can go back and start to improve that. And letting your mind be able to reset, um, and not think about it, and letting your hands kind of uh, get relaxed, wait until the next day. I think. Uh, that next day is so much more productive than just if you were to sit there and grind away for hours and hours. So that's my tip to you guys. If you are um, in dental school right now trying to work on your hand skills, try to practice maybe for a smaller amount of time, a shorter amount of time, but more frequent if that makes sense. And even when you guys are studying, instead of studying, uh, let's say anatomy for four hours on Monday and not really touching it again until Friday, study try to study an hour hour and a half um, three days a week instead of just that one large block of time and you'll find that you're you'll be able to retain the information a ton better and when it comes time to take the test you'll be able to recall it much better as well good morning everyone today's the day it's about seven o'clock on thursday so my drilling practical starts at eight o'clock um i'm gonna head in we're allowed to start setting up at 7 30 we have to place a rubber dam anytime that we're placing composite for this exam. Um, I feel, I mean, as good as I can for this test. I've put in the all the practice hours that I needed to. I couldn't really do much more. I think I'm just gonna stick to my guns, use brand new burrs, and hope for the best today. So wish me luck, and let's do this. And we're back. Finished up at the gym this morning. Got the practical done. It went decent once again didn't go as good as my uh as my practice teeth but i think if i had to rate them the prep was about an eight out of ten i was actually pretty happy with the prep and the filling the composite was about a 6.5 ish um i had a lot of extra time that i could have used to maybe smooth it out a little bit more kind of give it that glassy look i was afraid of you know making a bigger mistake that would have dropped it from like a, a decent filling all the way down to something that could potentially fail if like something chipped off i decided to turn it in um maybe in the future i need to work on that not just take all the time that the practical allows and just turn in a final product that is as good as I could possibly could. Anyways, I tried to weigh the pros and cons and that's what I chose this time. I am almost positive I didn't fail, so that's good news. Um, and now we have to put that behind us and start practicing for the fixed practical, which is on Monday. All right, guys, I am going to wrap the video up here. It's Friday night, and what do you know? I'm headed into lab. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got a little glimpse of how much uh, preparation time it takes me to get ready for a practical, developing my hand skills, and it's a work in progress, so it might be more or less in the future. Um, I hope Monday goes alright, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.